Hey guys, this is Davis again from Davis Comp Finds, and I've got another uh, fairly sizable haul uh, today. I know it's been a while. Uh, I've kind of, I guess it was December the last, maybe January, December or January last video I posted up. So it's been a bit. Um, I've been picking up things along. Uh, got a pretty good haul the other day. I thought I'd share it along with my top 10 list we'll start out with that because i just kind of wanted to show you i do this every year and i usually post up a video i don't think i did this year um so we'll just show you what our my top 10 for the the year is start off with amazing spider-man one i haven't gotten that yet so still working on it number two uh marvel spotlight number five first ghost rider you know, that's just a cool book. I've always wanted it, so I thought I'd add it. Conan number one is number three. 6.5 or better. Uh, I, I, that's another book that I've just always really wanted. Uh, Submariner Golden Age issue. Doesn't have a specific one in mind, just 2.5 or higher. Batman 234, First Silver Age uh, Two-Face. I have a copy, mine's a really low copy. So 7.0 or higher on that one. Marvel Spotlight number two. Of course, first Werewolf by Night. Just really like the character. So I thought I'd try to track that one down. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 139 First Grizzly and a nine or higher. Um, that's a book that was like the first early Spider-Man that I ever had. So ever owned. I found it at a yard sale when I was a kid. So I'd kind of like to have another co or a nice copy of it. I still have my original. Uh, some Batman books, 180, 182, 184, 185, 86, or 185, 187, 188, 190. Uh, some Daredevil, 118, 119, 120, 121, 24, 26, 28, 29, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 43. That'll give me the first 150 issues, I believe. So I just snag those. And then, yes, you saw volume three. This is the Dark Horse. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 24. They give me the first 25 issues of that series. So uh, just a quick run through of the list. I actually got some stuff on here um, that I can mark off. Let me go grab a pen. If I have one, maybe I might have one. Uh, yeah, I've got one right Sharpie pen. Um, so... Let's start working on these books. All right, so just some online pickups uh, that I've, I'll share first. Just some cool stuff. I got the uh, glossy Batman Beyond one reprint. I've actually got a first and third print of that anyways. Uh, here's the one in, I think it's one in 10, Ultimate Spider-Man number one. People went crazy for that book, Ultimate Spider-Man one. Uh, grabbed this because it was signed by Katana Collins and Sean Murphy, uh, Harley Quinn, the Batman White Knight. Really like the White Knight series, so grab that. I think this is one in 25. Batman Beyond Neo Gothic number three, just because it was cheap. Um, as well as this one, I think this is maybe a one in 10 or one in 25. Usagi Ice and Snow Part Three. Incentive variant. Midtown had them on sale, so I grabbed them. Uh, got this locally. Didn't have any of these issues. So, and they were a buck a piece. So, a dollar each. Why not? Uh, Batman 576. 577. 578. 579. That's the first appearance of that villain. Second appearance of it. Uh, 581, 582, 583, 584, 585, 586. I already had 587, so 588. Most of these are near me. I think one of them had some damage on the back, but all the rest are near me. 5989, 5 
591, there's several, 592, 593, okay. 594, 595, and we jump a bit, 606, and then this was a good one for a buck, 612, pretty good for a dollar. And 627. That was all the Batman books I found in that uh, place. But then I also found some other books. So I'm going to try to knock through them. Um, but again, a dollar a piece. Civil War 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, and seven. So all seven issues of Civil War for seven dollars. Can't beat that. Uh, let's see. We'll show this one next. I didn't. They didn't have the complete set, but they had the first eight issues. Deadpool core. Dollar each. Probably won't hold on to that one. Not a huge Deadpool fan. They had some cool cover guns and roses cover there. There's five, six, seven, eight. And then they had a one shot rank and foul Deadpool core. So, again, definitely worth a dollar each. Uh, this was a pretty big find. Um, Moon Knight, Vengeance of the Moon Knight, one. Great covers, two, three, four, five, six. And this one I've seen was kind of pro pricey, issue seven. Didn't have the complete set of it either, but first seven issues for seven dollars I'll take it uh, and then the last bit here uh, had this for a dollar nightwing number one in the newsstand uh, I just thought this was a cool cover it takes one to kill one blade uh, venom variant number 28 uh, bat spider-man number 50 491 and then the big book I thought was Amazing Spider-Man 36 for a buck. Can't beat that. So pretty good dollar bin. Uh, I was I was pleased, um, but now we'll show you the main stuff. Show you this slab first. This was like 25 bucks shipped for a slab and a 9.8. Couldn't beat that. Amazing Spider-Man issue 59. This is the Marvel Masterworks variant. Thought it was worth that. Um, then I got some Batman books that were on the list. She got 184. Let's say 184. That's 182. 184. That's that is 184. 185, 187, and 188. So, so we got 182, 184, 185, 187, and 188. So now all I like is 190 and 180. So, of those Batman books. Uh, next thing I'll show is an original page that I snagged from Anthony's comic book art. This is a Ramos page um, from Amazing Spider-Man issue 17. This is tw page 23. This is the story, the hunted story art. 
with Craven and the last son of Craven. I just really like the page. You got all the people. You got Craven here. You got Son of Craven. He's back in Spider Man. In here. He back Spider Man. Drops him off to be hunted. So, thought that was a really good page. But that's not the big one. The big one is already. I got issue or, number two on the list. Marvel Spotlight number five. And a 5.5. This has got some pressable defects as well, so you might get a press and press that up, and get a, maybe a six. But uh, either way, it's better than a five, which is what I wanted, and uh, very cool book to add to the collection. Uh, first appearance of Ghost Rider, so we can take and knock that one off the list. So that would be number two is off the list. So now we just got to continue with it, keep looking, uh, just like a couple of the Batman issues and then everything else. So um, just wanted to shoot a video, it's been a while, thought I'd share what I found, let me know what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like, thought those dollar books are a great deal. Um, but again, let me know what you think, and as always, have a great rest of the day.